Electricity, it's one of the essential ingredients for keeping our cities, businesses and homes running. Behind the scenes, the system that generates our power is under significant strain. It really is the perfect storm at the moment. Coal-fired power stations still produce most of Australia's electricity, but many of these coal plants are offline or not operating at full capacity, and that handbrake on electricity supply is helping to push up prices. As is simple economics, when there's less supply, the higher the price. Ultimately, the system's failed. You know, we've never seen prices this high in the history of the market. We have 170 families that rely on this business directly, that rely on our decision making uh, and to, to remain alive. Brett Lawrence runs this iron foundry in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. We make castings primarily for the rail infrastructure market, primarily for the export market. His business melts steel to create a range of iron products. Doing that requires a lot of electricity. Our forward modelling shows we will be paying over $10 million uh, for electricity this year. So when are we looking at the next spike? About 6 o'clock tonight? Yeah. Brett's team is constantly tracking power prices. The company buys power on the wholesale market, where prices can change every five minutes. We put in some software controls where we uh, apply a price and, and when the price on the electricity market peaks above that, we automatically turn off our furnaces and other equipment. The time to turn off our power usage on our furnaces is less than a second. With wholesale prices stratospheric, the factory's only been operating about two thirds of the time recently. But it is far more economically viable for the business to pay them to stand and do basically nothing compared to what they normally do. Because the price of electricity would mean that we were actually selling at a loss. Reliance on the, the gas-fired generators as a result of so many of the, the coal-fired generators being offline due to both planned and unplanned outages, combined with the high uh, international gas price, is really the predominant driver of the spikes in the retail prices that we're seeing at the moment. Wholesale electricity prices along the East Coast have soared this year, from a daily average of less than $100 per megawatt hour to more than $700. But those sustained high prices forced the energy market regulator to intervene and cap the price at $300 per megawatt hour. At that lower price, some generators pulled their supply, which threatened to cause blackouts in Queensland and New South Wales. The electricity market operator is now forcing those power plants to keep running. I would expect it will be weeks if not months before the wholesale prices come down. But then there's also a delay between when the retailers will pass on those falling wholesale electricity costs to their consumers. And that could actually take a number of months as well. Authorities have told retailers they can increase benchmark rates in South East Queensland, South Australia and New South Wales from next month. Sydney mum Zainab Akil is worried her power company will do exactly that. I'm just a single mum with four kids and on Centrelink payment, so... Yeah. Zainab is doing yet another load of her kids' washing today. As the clothes pile up, so does the cost of washing and drying them. I'm trying to not use um, a dryer, but I have to sometimes because you run off clothes. <laughs> What's up? Making you hot chocolate, Mum? Zainab's latest quarterly bill cost over $1,000, so she's doing everything possible to reduce the family's power usage. I offer him like two or three times hot drink, hot chocolate, tea, just to keep them warm. 
to avoid the heat as much as I can. Every time my kids sitting watching TV or like just sit on the couch, just put a blanket on. This one is me again, and that one is Timmy, and this one is Rosie. Like more and more people, she's relying on support from charities to keep the lights on. I'm always behind, always behind. They always send me a reminder, of course. I'm always like struggling and stress out, you know, like, um, yeah. There's no charge to search or to switch retailers meaning that if there's a better offer available to you, it could only take a few minutes of your time to access that and help bring your bills down. But it's not just customers struggling. Small electricity retailers say they are being squeezed out of the market. All we're seeing is opportunistic money-making schemes from generators. Damien Glanville founded electricity retailer LPE about a decade ago. Based on the Sunshine Coast, he says it used to offer competitive prices before the recent wholesale price hikes started eating into his cash reserves. I wake up this morning and the average cost for my customers' energy yesterday was 80 cents a kilowatt hour. I'm charging them 16. There's still a cash flow mismatch that small retailers can't support. I think that'll actually get some good cut through. Yeah, I think we should do it. Damien and his marketing director have been sending emails and letters warning customers that their prices are already rising and begging them to leave. I plead for our customers to go and find another retailer. You know, you can get a better deal. You should be getting a better deal. You're entitled to it, so please leave. Can you bring up the Queensland assets to see yeah. how they've been behaving? While other parts of its business will continue, LPE isn't taking on any new retail electricity customers. You could arguably say competition in the energy market is now officially dead. So all of the work that we've done in the last 10, 20 years to introduce competition into the retail electricity market to help keep prices low will have been undone if we do lose some of these small competitors. Back in Sydney, Zainab too is at the mercy of the market. So she's taking matters into her own hands as much as she can. So be careful how you're using the electricity because um, it's going to be very difficult for some people. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.